Let's shift our focus now. Some breaking news coming in from Delhi. It's a firing shocker. Well, we know few days are to go for the G20 summit in Delhi. Now, what we see that miscreants have opened fire. Uh, one man has been shot dead is what we are getting to know from the reports coming in. Another has been injured in this firing. The accused is on the run at the moment. The murder case has been registered against the accused and the hunt is on for the culprits. This news is coming in from Delhi's Bhajanpura, uh, where it is indeed very shocking that there is just few days to go for the G20 summit and amid uh, one side increase in security and law and order, miscreants have opened fire in uh, Delhi Bhajanpura. One man has been shot dead, one another has been injured in this firing incident. Currently, the accused is on the run. My colleague Abhishek is joining us to give us more details. Uh, Abhishek, shocking news is coming from Delhi. Uh, where miscreants have opened fire and one man has been shot dead, another has been injured. Give us details. And absolutely, at 11.53 p.m. on uh, 29th of this month, an uh, uh, incident was reported in uh, Subhash Vihar Bhajanpura, where a person who was uh, working as senior manager in a, a private company was shot dead uh, in his head, and his name was Harpreet Gill. And the other person who was, uh, you know, uh, who got injured in this whole firing incident is Govind Singh, who is also, uh, you know, uh, runs a momo shop uh, nearby Hungry Bird uh, uh, showroom. So, uh, next year it was found that Harpreet and Govind, they were uh, on their uh, Splendor bike and they were uh, going uh, by gully number 8. There were five boys on a scooty and a bike intercepted them and they opened uh, unprovoked fire and they ran from the spot. Now, police is investigating the matter. They are scanning the CCTV and they are putting all efforts to catch and identify the culprits. Now, it is uh, to be seen that when these culprits will be arrested and uh, when they will be put behind bars. Jake. All right, Abhishek, thank you for bringing us the details there.